Hey everybody, I Heart Movies here, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms 2. Let's head inside the promised catacombs and take a look around. Eh, sort of. I kind of for forgot. Um, we can't really do anything with this area for right now until we get a new tool. Because, yeah, we can't cross that gap. Um, yeah. Oops on my part. That had totally slipped my mind until uh, just before recording, actually. Um, but we'll come back here as soon as we can, uh, once we get the uh, next tool. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're done there for right now. A um, couple more things I want to do before going off to Raypoint Flam. Let's go back to Tabata Village. We have yeah, another side quest area we can do right now to pick up a uh, really damn good medium, actually. Uh, we'll want Brad for this part, by the way. And also, as a heads up, you'll want someone with at least good luck but preferably best. Um, good will work well enough because we'll get something to boost luck in the next area we're going to. Um, but if you already have someone with best luck, then you'll be in good shape as well. Uh, now we need to find uh, Meryl. Uh, there's Rasu. Hello. Um, there you are. Hello. Oh, well, well it did happen. The good luck spot on the southeastern coast. Oh, well hey, that's actually rather convenient. Okay, well, let's uh, head on over there then. It's real close by. It's on the uh, same uh, continent, same general area as the uh, as the town. So yeah. Okay, so yeah, to the southeast, which would be if I can know my directions, uh, this way, ish. You also can tell where it says the uh, green dot on the map now. Right over here. Uh, no battles go away. Yeah, this part here, oh my god, battles, stop. Battles, please. Here we go. What do we have here? The good luck zone. This part's pretty cool. Now, one thing I want to check real quick uh, for my luck. I should already be good to go. Bad, bad, okay, good, normal, good, normal, okay. Yeah, you just need to have one person with, um, with good luck, that's all. But anyway, you'll see these doors here. It's securely locked. You'll need a special key to open it. Um, so what I want to do, um, let's go ahead and I want to give Lilka um, Fendralon. We need to find an enemy around here that has the key. Um, we'll find it real, real easy, I'm sure. So we're just gonna run around back and forth here for a little bit until I find a battle. Okay, that works. Okay, and the enemy I'm looking for is... is it these guys? Ah, uh, here we go. Yep, Gold Buzz. Um, don't want to attack them yet, we want to steal from them. Because they have the key we need. You can actually see it in their, uh, sprite there, actually. Yep, there we go. And yeah, if I recall correctly, you only need one key to open all the doors here, so... Hopefully take a couple of tries here. Well, hopefully no more than a couple of tries to, uh, get it. And yeah, there's some cool stuff in here in this area as well, besides a, uh, new medium. Spoilers, there's a medium in here. But some other cool stuff as well. But I want to steal this damn key first. There we go, that was easy. And I'll probably just go ahead and kill these guys then. I thought of running. Um, meh, experience points are good, so I may as well. But yeah, after this area, we do have one more side area to, uh, to go to. It's real, real short though. Um, actually, can't even really finish the area either. Um, We'll just grab some items there and be right on our way out. Then we'll go over to uh, Raypoint Flam. Hopefully today, um, we'll see what happens. If anything, I would like to be able to, you know, be right outside it to end the episode and then start the episode with going through the area. But anyway, there you go, takes care of that. Decent experience points of money as well, can't go wrong with that. Okay, now, first off, let's go ahead and uh, heal up my poison there. I'm not worried about healing up myself right now, actually. Well, I have an apple. I should use that. Mm, excuse me. Uh, who wants it? I do! Okay, yeah. Kinda sucks you have to use the secret key from the menu each time to uh, open the doors here. Okay, oh, a chest here. Or a crest. Awesome. I'll use that in due time, I'm sure. Yeah, pretty much here, yeah, with the branching paths. One door will lead to a dead end with an item, the other one will um, lead you to further progress, so. And I do believe this one will lead to a chest. 
Yep. We have the Texas number for uh, Ashley there, which is a pretty darn good hat there, plus 22 defense, can't go wrong with that. Now I think that might be his best hat in the game, actually. I don't know for sure, I can't remember actually, but um, I think it wasn't Wild Arms 1 for whoever could wear it. I think um, Jack had it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Okay, this one should be one more chest here. Well, the amulets, that uh, boost your luck by, is it one stage or two stages? I forget, actually. Let's look. Um, it is uh, two levels. Awesome. So actually, if you have someone with even normal luck, plus the amulet, then you're fine. For some reason, I thought it was just one level, I, but yeah, I couldn't remember. But oh well, no big deal. Okay, so yeah, here is the, um, well, almost last room here. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and first things first, uh, we're done with Vendalon, actually, so let's go ahead and give you Lacia Salt. And who has, was it Loka? Okay, Loka and Cannon. Look, it doesn't really matter who gets it. Um, actually, Amarva had normal luck, didn't she? Yeah, I can just give her the uh, amulet. It doesn't matter who gets it, of course, just anyone. Okay, so, let's go ahead and actually switch to Marvel. Trying one's luck is one way. If you're so sure of your luck, try asking the door about it. Okay, works for me. And I would get a battle, like, three steps before the door. Thanks, game. Thanks. Okay, we're just gonna run, if you guys don't mind. Or I could just fail to escape. <sighs> you know what? Uno Memento. Okay. Uh, yeah. I want to kill these guys, like, ASAP. So let's go... Ooh, shot Slide. I haven't really used that too often. Uh, Lock On. Pineapple. Yeah, I'm wasting ammo on normal enemies. I don't want these guys dead. I want their families dead. And so on and so forth. Hey, it actually hit them both. That's amazing. There we go. Okay. Oh, hey, a level for Lota. Nice. I almost said a Lota for level, but that wouldn't quite be right. Anyway. There we go. Yep, there we go, Marvel. With best of luck. Uh, now we can go ahead and give her back whatever you had before. Um, the Elven Boots. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Anyway, new medium! Yeah, this one is really, really good. Chapa Panga, the Guardian of Luck. And ooh, it's a gold medium. Our first gold medium, actually. And yeah, with being a gold medium, we'll have a better stat increases than other mediums. And uh, per example, he raises all of your stats by, I believe, 10%? Something like that. I forget the actual stat breakdown. But yeah, Chapapanga is really, really damn good. The ability, uh, Randomizer, I think it'll activate any ability you have. Like, for actually Chase be one of his arms. Same with Brad, Loka, one of her spells. I think. I never use it, so it's not really a big deal. But yeah, now I gotta figure out who gets Chapapanga. Because, uh, yeah, it's really freaking good. Yeah, not quite on the attack for me. Um, Brad would be a good fit for it. Pretty much anybody would be a good fit for this thing. Like, really, it's it's that freaking good. Um, Tim, probably not as good for him with the sorcery. Uh, Cannon would also be a good fit. Tough decision, actually. I do, I obviously want to use it. Um, let's give it to Loka. And then I can probably hand down Lacia Salt to somebody else. Um, Vitality's decent already. Uh, how about you? Uh, you don't need sorcery, you're fine without it. Um, actually, no, I think we're fine for right now. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, bust on out of here real quick. Again, wish I had that uh, escape item like in Wild uh, Arms 3 or an escape spell from Wild Arms 1. Did the other Wild Arms games have escape items like that? Like 4 and 5 and Ultra Code F? I haven't played them as much, so I don't know. Um, I would assume so. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have no idea. So, oh well. No big deal, really. I'll get to those in due time.
I would like to be able to play them on console, um, so I don't have to worry about, you know, emulator settings and stuff like that. But, I mean, I'll do what I have to do. But anyway, okay, we are done with that. Let's go ahead and now let's go over to the SLJ region. Um, I can find it. There we go. Yeah, one more little area we can go to today. Pretty much this one for right now, it's just all items. Some of which are very, very good. So we will definitely want to nab those. Okay, so we want to go. Um, it is, uh, it's real close by, actually. Um, I think, oh yeah, this, this little island over here. This little uh, nub of an island I'm going to. Go ahead and land, and here we reveal, wait for it, the Pirate's Warren. This is where the Pittsburgh Pirates hang out after uh, after games and, you know, between games and all that fun stuff. Okay, so pretty much here, optional area. Um, there is a boss in here, but we can't get to him for right now. We need um, a new tool for Ashley to uh, hit that switch up top there, that uh, dragon's or lion's head, whatever it is. Yeah, don't worry about that for right now. We won't be coming back here for a very long time. Okay, now for right now, um, well, check your uh, duplicator counts. I have five of them. Um, there are six doors in here, well, seven technically, but uh, three on the left, three on the right. Um, a few items here I want to get for right now. The other ones I will pass on. Um, also, going in order, um, these chests being, uh, this one's number one, at least the way order I'm going in. This one's number one, then two, then three, and then in the right room, the first chest there would be number 4, and then 5, then 6, and then the back room's number 7. I want to open chests 1, 2, and 4. There's some really, really good stuff in them. Like the Crest E. This one is really, really good. Because that one cuts FP use in half for the spell that's bound to it. That's really damn good. I'll probably put that on high revive. Because that takes uh, 70 FP, which kind of sucks. Anyway, chest 2 contains the Talisman. This thing is neat, pretty much needed for some of the optional bosses there if you go said route. This thing restores your HP after each turn, uh, which is, I think, it's 10% of your HP? It's, uh, yeah, it's really damn good. Some of the other items around here, there's an Ambrosia in one of the chests here. Um, another pair of Elven boots around here as well. I don't really care for either of those. I'll get them in due time, uh, but not right now. Now, so chest number four, I want to open as well, contains their kid gloves. Nice defense upgrade. So let's go ahead and give. Um, actually, who has the lowest defense? 267, 293. Okay, let's go ahead and give these um, to Marvel to boost her defense there. I'm not really sure why Brad has them. He has the defense of a tank. Um, let's give him. Let's give him the amulet. Actually, nah. Now, nah, pass on that. Talisman? He has to deal with that. Then let's go ahead and give Cannon the uh, mittens there for some more defense as well. Okay, so yeah, we're done here for right now. Yeah, the other chest I'm not too worried about anyway. Yeah, what did I say else? Um, yeah, an Ambrosia. Um, elven boots. There's also an Elven cloak here, which is like some sort of inertia cancel thing or some crap like that. I never use it, so I'm not going to bother with it. Um, okay, so we are done, actually, with stuff. Let's go ahead and teleport back over to the Palace Village. And then now we shall finally, finally start our first raid point. Oh, by the way, uh, I don't want to forget to mention this. Um, with Maravel and her red powers there, I will go for some of them in the future. Excuse me, but not right now. I'll probably just do some sort of side episode for them. Um, but for right now, I will go ahead, if you want to do them right now, I will definitely uh, post a link in the description for a list of where you can get them all. Um, so yeah, make sure you check that out there. And then we'll head inside and explore Ray Point Flam next time on Let's Play Wild Arms 2. This has been Iron Mew signing off, guys. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.